Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Shvi'i, Chapter 7, Daf Mem Zayn, page 47. And uh, we're just going to start from the last line of the previous page. Tana Rabbanan Rabbash Tuat Nebrais Na'ein Mechadim, we do not accord on Lobi Dirachim, not on roads, but Lobi Kisharim, not on breaches, and not with soiled hands. Ravina Vaba, you have a car as lay the Ocha, Ravina and Abaye were traveling on the road. And we're at the top of the uh, duff now, 47A. Kadme Hamare de Ravina Yid Abaye, Ravin's dumb, he went ahead of Abaye. The law Amalel Nezil Mar and Rabin did not say to Abaye, let Master go ahead. Amar Abaye said, Midsalik Haye Marabanan in Marabagas, Leda Ate. Ever since the Shabbat came from the West, he has become haughty. Kimata with the Chabdave bin Kanishta when they came to the entrance of the synagogue. Amale, Rabin said to him, Niyal Mar, let Master go on. Amale, Rabbi said to him, Va'adashta, Lav Mar, Amar, and until now was I not the Master. Amale, Rabbi replied, Hachi Amar, Rabbi Yochanan, thus said Rabbi Yochanan, Ein mechab dinela bepetach sheyesh ba mezuzah, we put on only at the entrance, at an entrance that has a mezuzah. To eat ba mezuzah ein, so therefore a mezuzah, we, 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 do we accord honor at a mezuzah? To lake by mezuzah law. Uh, what about an entrance that does not happen though? Uh, don't we then? Ela ma'ata, but then, Beta Knesset or Veta Midrash, a synagogue or a study hall, to lake by mezuzah, which, which does not have a mezuzah. Hachina mete em mechabdin, indeed so, that don't we accord honor there too? Ela ema rather say, the peta harau in the mezuzah, at an entrance that is fit. That's where we accord honor. is the son of Rav Shmuel Bashil, said the name of Rav. Ein Hamesubin Rashin Rashain Lechoklon. Those who are dining are not, uh, are not permitted to eat anything. Adshi Tom, I would say, until the one uh, breaks and tastes, meaning the, the first person who's doing the Bracha and breaking the bread eats first. Yati Rav Safra the Kamar Rav Safra sat and said, "Lit Omv Itmar to taste was stated, meaning that um, meaning what was actually stated was that uh, is that they're not allowed to taste or it." Um, they're not allowed to taste anything until the first person breaks bread. Lamay naf kamina. What uh, what is the difference between these two points of view? Shachayav adam lomar bilushon rabba because a person is required to say in the language of his master, meaning uh, you have to be precise with your quotations. Tana rabba rabba is taught in brisa. Shneim mamtinin zelazer bekara to wait for each other from the platter. <coughs> Shlosha um, ein mamtin in three do not need to wait for each other. Habatzea hu poshet yadot chila the one who breaks and reaches first. Um, so when when people are together, they you have to wait for the first person who has broken the bread and uh, said the bracha to reach for the food first. But if he wants to impart honor to his teacher, or to one who is more important than he, how should be a door? He is permitted to do so. Meaning, uh, if the person who breaks bread wants to offer the food to uh, someone more prominent than, than him, uh, he's allowed to. Rabba bar bar chana hava asik le livre be rab shmuel bar rab katina. Rabba Baba Khana was marrying of his son in the house of Rosh Hashanah Bar Rab Katina. Kadim Vyativ Vekamatne 
Vikamatne le livre. He sat down uh, before the meal uh, and gave a brisa. Ein habatir rashai livtua. The one who will break is not permitted to break it. Ad shiichle amen mi pihanim until amen has concluded from the mouths of those responding. Rav Chista, my Rav Chista said, Mi pi rov ha'onim. From the mouths of the majority of those people responding. I'm just going to scroll down. Amalei Rami Bar Chama. On the second line on the screen. Rami Bar Chama said to Rav Chista, Why is it uh, that we have to wait for the majority to say Amen? Because the blessing has not yet ended um, until they give their Amen response. Miuta uh, Nami, and the minority as well. Doesn't the meaning, doesn't the same reasoning apply? Lo Chalia Bracha, the blessing has not yet ended. So why don't we wait for everyone to say Amen before we uh, break the bread? Amalei he said to Rami Bar Chama Shani Omer because I say Kol Haonei Amen Yoter Midai whoever answers Amen longer than necessary Eino Elatoe is they're making a mistake by uh, giving an extended Amen. Tanu Rav Anan the Rabbis told Nebraisa Eino Nin Lo Amen Chatufa we do not respond respond with an Amen Chatufa. Um, that's a that is a an Amen. Where the um, where the aleph where the aleph is said um, that is where um, an aleph is said uh, as in uh, for example emen. Sorry. So that is where um, that is where we where the people say amen. That's an amen chatufa. Below amen chatufa and not with an abbreviated amen. Um, so the nun at the end has to be said properly as well. Below amen yetuma and not with an orphaned amen. So what does that? Below uh, amen chatuva. That's an abbreviated amen. Below amen yetuma. Not an orphaned amen. Uh, that's an amen where one did not hear the blessing. Below yizrak bracha mipiv, and one should not throw a blessing from his mouth. Meaning that um, we shouldn't be hasty about giving amen. And an amen, you have to wait for the proper time. Ben Azai or man Ben Azai says kol hanu amen. Yetoma, whoever responds with an orphan amen, Yuvanav Yetoim, the children will be orphans. Chatufa, uh, uh, Amen Chatufa, Yit Chatfu Yama, his days will be snatched away. Tufa, an abbreviated amen, Yit Katfu Yama, his days will be abbreviated. Vechol Hamarich Ba Amen, and whoever is lengthy with Amen, Marichin Lo Yamav Ushnotav, they lengthen his days and his years for him. Uh, just as a note there, this means a lengthy amen is uh, an amen where it's pronounced where the amen is pronounced properly, uh, but in but uh, just to point out, he does not stretch it, uh, so in order to spoil the pronunciation. Rav Shmuel was sitting at a meal. Ata Rav Shimi Bachia. Rav Shimi Bachia. Rav and Shmuel Havu Yatvei Besudata. Rav and Shmuel were sitting at a meal. Ata Rav Shimi Bachia. Rav Shimi Bachia came. Hava Kama Sarhev Bachil and hurried. That is in order to join the Zimun. Amalei Rav Rav said to him, Mata Tachlitz Tirufei Bahadam. What do you think? Um, uh, do you think you'll be able to join us? Uh, meaning join us in the Zimun by Harry. 
We already finished eating, um, and therefore, you're, even though you're sitting down to eat now, uh, you can't join in the Zimun because we already finished. Amalei Shmuel, Shmuel said to him, Ilo maitu li ar dilga, if they'll bring mushrooms for me, but God's lay ala abba and young pigeons for abba, milo achinan, wouldn't we eat them? Meaning that uh, even though they're finished, uh, the meal is not necessarily concluded because if more food was brought before them, they would eat. Tell me, dear, your Rav Havu Yatsve Besudata, Rav's students were sitting at a meal. Our Rav Acha, Rav Acha came in. Amre. They said, Atar Gavra Rabad Demavarechlan, a great man who has come, will uh, recite for us, meaning he'll lead the Bekaramazon in the Zimun. Uh, Amalehu Rav Acha said to them, Mi Savritu de Gadol Mevarech, do you think that the greatest one uh, recites Bekaramazon? Even if he arrives at the end of the meal, a primary, uh, a primary member of the meal recites, meaning one who's been there from the outset. The hilchata but the halacha is gadol mevarech afal gav data levasov. The greatest one recites, even though he came at the end. In the Mishnah, there was the line, Achal Demai Bechule, if one ate Demai, meaning if they Demai that they join in the Zimon on account of him, Halo is it not, but isn't it suitable for him to eat? Um, meaning, why should he uh, complete the quorum for a Zimon? Why is he eligible to complete the quorum? Because uh, it's not necessarily suitable for him to eat. Cave under Iba a mafkad lehul in Nixe Bahaviani, since if he desired, he could renounce ownership of his property and become a pauper. The Chazele and the Demai would then be suitable for him and therefore is eligible. Titstan, we learned in a Mishnah. Machlinita an anim Demai, we may feed poor people Demai. The et ach. Sanya Demai and soldiers Demai. Rakhuna Rakhuna said, Tana, it was in a brisa, Beit Shammai, Omri, Beit Shammai said, En machilin et ha aniyim ve et ha sanya Demai, we do not feed the poor and the soldiers Demai. This is a reflection of the view of Beit Hila. Maser Rishon Shinit la Trumato, one eight Maser Rishon whose trauma had been taken. So we. We join in the Zimun. Pshita, it's obvious. Um, because the food he ate is permissible. Lot shrecha ela shihiktimu beshibalim. The Mishnah's ruling is necessary only where uh, a levy preempted the Kohen. Um, and the Maestrishim was taken in the ears. The Hifrish Mimeno Trumai Masen, the levy. Separated from it, Mesa from it. Velo he fish me manage from a gadola, but we did not separate from a gadola from it. The hid Rabbi Abahu, and this accords with Rabbi Abahu, Dama Rabbi Abahu Amar, Reshlakish, Dama Rabbi Abahu Amar, Reshlakish, for Rabbi Abu said in the name of Rabbi Reshlakish, Master Rishon Sheikh, Dung Beshibalain, Beshibalain, Master Rishon, um, that one advanced. In the ears, patul min trumah gadola is exempt from trumah gadola. Shnema, for it stated, v'harom ha'remotem min meno trumah Hashem ase min hamase, and you shall separate from it Hashem's trumah, a tithe of the tithe. Masa min hamase mati lecha a tithe of the tithe. Tithe is, um, I I have told you. Velot trumah gadola or trumah masse min hamasse, but not trumah gadola and trumah masse from the tithe. Rab Papa said, "Amale, Rab Papa lavaye, Rab Papa said to lavaye, 'Ihachi iso, afil hutimu bakri nami. Even if he preempted the kohen in a pile, um, he's also exempt.' Amale said to Rab Papa, 
Alecha Makra, in response to to this, the uh, the um, the Chumash states. from all your master portions shall you separate. Well, narrator, and what have you seen uh, that leads you to apply this? Hi, Itgan, this has been rendered grain, the high lot Itgan, whereas this has not been rendered grain. Meaning the pile is grain and the produce that's still in the ears is not grain. Master Shani or consecrated um, that was redeemed. Shita, it's obvious. Uh, because uh, the food is tasteable. And what are we dealing with here? Where we gave the original value and did not give the additional fifth. And this is what our mission teaches us. Teaches us that the fifth does not invalidate and therefore we're eligible to join the quorum. The way that ancient Oli's volume of bread, um, so this is the next part of the Mishnah, uh, the way that ancient Oli's volume of bread and therefore we join in the Zimun because of it. Pshita, this is obvious. You might have said that the way that is not established not the established member of the group, Kamashmai, Kamamai, this inform, informs us he's eligible to join. or we join in the Zimun encounter here. Amai, why is that possible? Lo Ela Amharis. The Kutin is nothing other than an Amharis, meaning they might not even be Jewish. Tanya and was taught in a brisa. In mezamim al amharitz, we don't join in zimun on account of an amharitz. Abaye amar, abaye said, the chuti chaver, with a kutim who is a Torah scholar. Rav Amar, Rav Amar, Rav said, a few of the time of the chuti amharitz. You can even say with a kutim who is an amharitz, and he may not be a fully observant. Uh, true, the hacha, but here the amharis de Rabbanan de Fligei Aleha Ale de Rabbi Meir Askina. We are dealing with an amharis according to rabbis who dispute who dispute with Rabbi Meir. Titania, as was taught in a brisa. Ezehu Amharet, who is an Amharet? Kol Sheino Chulav Betala, anyone who does not take, who does not eat his chulin in a state of Tahara. Tivre Rabbi Meir, these are the words of Rabbi Meir, but Chachulim Rabbi but the sages say, Kol Sheino Maaseh Puratav Kiru'u, anyone who does not tie his produce properly. Bahane Kuta El Asurei Maasrei Kid Chazer. Kid Chazer, and this could him do tithe properly. Give a my gift to the Oraita in Zara Zahire. We're going that which is written in the Torah, they are scrupulous. The Mama, for the Master said, Call me Toshia Ziku, Bakutin, any commandment of the Kutins, observe Habima Midaktikin Bayote, and Israel, they are far more meticulous in its observance of the Jews. <coughs> and therefore, the Kutin uh, can join in the Zim. Now we're going to talk a bit more about an Amharetz. Tanarabhan and the Rabbis taught the Brisa, Ezehu Amharetz, who is an Amharetz, 
Kosh Eino Kare Kriya Veshachlik. Uh, sorry, Kriyat Shema Avi Veshachli. Anyone who does not recite Shema in the evening and the morning, give her Rabbi Eliezer. The words of, these are the words of Rabbi Eliezer. Rabbi Yoshua Mer, Rabbi Yoshua says, Kosh Eino Maniach Tfilin. Anyone who does not put on Tfilin. Ben Azai Amer, Ben Azai says, Kosh Eino Tzitzit Bibikdo. Anyone who does not have Tzitzit on his garment. Rabbi Nassan Omer, Rabbi Nassan says, Kosh Eino Zuzah Al Al Pitcho. Anyone who does not have Mezuzah on his home's entrance. Rabbi Nassan Bar Yosef Omer, Rabbi Nassan Bar Yosef says, Anyone who has sons and does not raise them to study Torah. Others say, Even if one read scripture study Mishnah, but he did not serve Torah scholars, he's an Amharet. Amar Rapuna, Rapuna said, The halacha follows the view of the others. Meaning, we don't join in the Zimun on account of one who did not study Gemara. Study Gemara. Um, even though nowadays we do um, join in the Zimun, even with people who are considered according to the Samei Haaretz, this practice accords with the, Reb, the opinion of Rabbi Yossi that we should not disenfranchise Samei Haaretz by trading them disdainfully. Um, there's also another uh, another possibility that today we cannot consider ourselves Torah scholars, um, any of us Torah scholars to whom this rule applies. Rami bar Chamalo Hazmin Alei to Rav Menashia bar Tachlifa. Rami bar Chama did not join in Zimun on account of Rav Menashia bar Tachlifa. Titane Sifra, the Sifre Hilchata, who had learned Sifra, Sifre, and Mishnas. Kinach Nafshe de Rami bar Chama, when Rabbi bar Chama passed away, Amar Rava Rava said, Lonach Nafshe de Rami bar Chama, Rami bar Chana, Chama did not pass away, Ela de la Azmin, Arav. Menashia bar Tachlifa, other than for not joining the Zimun, on account of Rav Menashia bar Tachlifa. By Tanya was taught in a Brisa, Acheri Mamrim, others say, Afilu Karav Shona Veloshi Mishtami Dechachamin, even if one read scripture and studied Mishnah, but he not, did not serve Torah scholars. Harayze Am Haaretz, he's in Am Haaretz. Shani Rav Menashia bar Tachlifa, Rav Menashia bar Tachlifa was different. Timishma de de me shama the hul rabbanan for he did not serve Torah scholars. The Rami bar Chama who the Lord Zak Abba Trey and it was Rami bar Chama who did not investigate him properly. Lishna Achrina a different version. The Shema Shema Tata mi Pumayehu the rabbanan vegaris lehu because he listened to the teachings from the mouths of the rabbis and reviewed them. Ketsurva the rabbanan dami. He was like a young Torah scholar. Achal Tevul Maser Lechole. So, next part from the Mishnah. If one ate Tevul or Maser Rishon, we don't join the Zimun. Uh, this is where the trauma had not been taken. We don't join in the Zimun because of him. Tevel Pshita, Tevel is obvious. Um, uh, obviously, it's ineligible. Lotricha, no, it is necessary um, to actually state for someone who uh, who ate Tevel. The Tevel Tavul Midrabanan, in regard to rabbinically ordained Tevel. Because um, the Tevel was prohibited rabbinically. And therefore, we have to make a statement of it. What is an example of this? Uh, for produce grown in an unperforated flower pot. Uh, because the grain does not draw its nourishment from the earth, it is not subject to the laws of tithing. But the rabbis did impose a tithing on this produce. Uh, and one who eats it without tithing is ineligible. Maserishon chule, maserishon, meaning truma had not been taken, and we don't join the zimun on account of him. Shita, it's obvious. 
in the Gemara answers, Lot no, it is a necessary ruling to bring this in. Kagonshi Timur Bakri, a case where the lady preempted the Kohen in a pile. Um, Mahu de Tema Kidamar le Rav Papa Labaye. You might have said, as Rav Papa said to Abaye, Kamashmalan Kidashani le. The Mishnah informs us um, that Moserishan is considered table until at Trumakadola, uh, as Abaye answered him. And the next clause of the Mishnah is Mase Sheni Bechule. Uh, if you ate Masi Shani, uh, or consecrated produce that was not redeemed, uh, we don't join in the Zimla, in the Zimla. Shita, it's obvious. Lot no, it is necessary to state this as well. Shiniftu velo niftu bit kihil chatan, where the Masi Shani and consecrated produce were redeemed, but were not redeemed properly. Masi Shani kagon she padu al gabe asimon, a Masi Shani, uh, with Masashani, a case where one redeemed it onto an unminted metal slug. Um, and the merciful one said, And you shall bind up the money. Kesef Shieshlo, Shiesh Alav Tura, money that has an image on it. Let's just see if we can, inter if we can understand that. So, uh, there's a resemblance of the word Tsata to Tsura, which means a form or a figure, and Masashani may redeem only on coinage upon which a form or figure is stamped. A missionary is teaching us that the Halakha is the opinion that a slug is unsuitable for this purpose. A slug doesn't have anything, uh, a, a form or figure minted on it. Hekdesh shechililu al gabe karka velo padu echesef, consecrated, where one transferred its holiness onto real property other rather than onto money. Verachamana ama venatana kesef vekamlo, whereas the mess one said, and he shall give the money, and it will pass to him. And this is a paraphrase of Leviticus 27.19. <coughs> Or if the waiter ate less than the olive's volume, shita, it's obvious. Since the Mishnah taught in its first clause an olive's volume of bread, if uh, it taught in the latter clause, that uh, if the waiter ate less than all his volume, obviously he cannot complete the quarry. Vanachri ein mezamnin alav, or a Gentile, we j that ate with us, we don't join in the zim on account of him. Pshita, this is obvious. Hachaba mai askinan, what are we dealing with here? The ger shemal belo taval, with a proselyte, someone who uh, became Jewish, who was circumcised, but not yet immersed in a mikvah. Amar Rabbi Zera, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Zera said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Lam enok ger ad One can never become a proselyte or a, a convert unless he circumcises and immerses in mikvah. The but as long as he does not immerse, he's still a Gentile. Nashim, uh, back to the Mishnah. Nashim ve'avadim uktanim ein mezamnim alehen. Woman, women, slaves or minors. They don't join in the zimun. Amar Rabbi Asi, Rabbi Asi said, Katan umutal arisa mezamnin alav. We join, may join in zimun on account of an infant resting in a cradle. The Hatzman, and we learned in the Mishnah, Nashim ve'avadim katanim ein mezamnin malehim. Women slaves or minors, we do not join in zimun on account of them. Who damak Rabbi Yosho ben Levi? Rabbi Asi stated, in accordance with Rabbi Yosho ben Levi. Rabbi Yishu ben Levi, because Rabbi Yishu ben Levi said, Afal pi she'amlo, although they said, Katan umotal, that ba'arisa ein mezamnin alav, we may not join in zimun on account of an infant resting in a cradle, aval, aval osin oto sniff asara, we may nevertheless make him an accessory for ten. So he can become, 
he can join in with nine adults in order to become ten. <coughs> uh, just a note on that, so that they may join in the special version of Zimun that is recited when ten people eat together. Ravasi's ruling was issued only in regard to the ten men Zimun, and it does not still not contradict the three men Zimun. Amar Rabbi Yishol ben Levi and Rabbi Yishol ben Levi said, Tisha the Eved Mitzarfin nine and a slave combine. Uh, so you can have nine and a slave, a Canaanite slave, to complete a ten man quorum. Mekive, there's a challenge to this. Masa Rabbi Eliezer, an incident involving Rabbi Eliezer, Shinichas Levit Hakneset Velomatsa Asra, and who went to the synagogue and did not find ten. The Shichre Ato Vehishlimo Asra, and he freed his slave and completed the ten with him. Shichre Ain, by freeing the slave, we are indeed allowed. Lo Shichreb, and if you don't free the slave, lo, you're not allowed. Tre it's Trechu, they needed two to complete a minion. Shichre Achad, he freed one. Vanafik, Bachad, and discharged one. And discharged. He freed one. Benafik Bechad and discharged uh, and discharged and, and discharged the mitzvah by one in order to complete the minion. Vehechi Avidhachi, how could he do this? Ama Ravi Yehuda Ravi Yehuda said, Kol Hameshachrer Avdo Obed Baasa Baase. Anyone who emancipates his slave transgresses a positive commandment. Shnemar Lo Lambahim Tavudu, for it is stated, you shall work for them forever. Lidavar Mitzvah Shani, and for the sake of the mitzvah, this is different. Mitzvah Haba Be'averahi. This is a mitzvah brought about through a transgression. Mitzvah de Rabim Shani. A communal mitzvah is different. Amar Rabbi Yishuv ben Levi and Rabbi Yishuv ben Levi said, "Lam Yashkim Adam Levita Knesset." Person should always awake early to go to the to the synagogue. Kadesh is Kaviyim Ane. So he should merit to be counted among the first ten. Shafilo me'ah ba'im acharav. Even if one hundred people came after him, kibel alav shachakulam. He receives the reward, the reward of all of them. Shachakulam sakatatach. Would it really enter your mind the reward of all of them, and they don't receive any reward? Ela ema. Rather say, not in law shachakinegulam. They give him a reward equal to all, meaning equal to everyone who comes, the 100 who come later. Amar Rav Huna, Rav Huna said, Tishava Aron Mitztarfin, nine and the ark, um, containing scrolls combined to complete a minion. Amar Le Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said to Rav Huna, Aron Gavrahu, how is the ark a person? How can they complete a minion? Ela Amar Rav Huna, rather Rav Huna said, Tisha near in Ka'asara Mitztarfin, Nine who appear as ten combine to complete a minion. Amrela, some say, Ki uh, Mikanfe, when they are gathered together, uh, it's impossible to see how many people there are exactly, but Amrela, and some say, Ki uh, Mi Badre, when they are spread out, it also creates the impression of being greater in number. Amar Rabbi Ami Rabbi Ami said, "Shnayim v'Shabbat mitzdarfin, two and Shabbat combine in order to create a three-man zimun." Amar Le Rav Nachman Rav Nachman said to Rabbi Ami, "V'Shabbat Gavrahu, but is the Shabbos a person?" Ella Amar Rabbi Ami Rather Rabbi Ami said, "Shnei Tamidah Chachamim Hamachadrim Ze Ze Halacha mitzdarfin, two Torah scholars who sharpen each other in halacha combine to complete a three-man zimun." Uh, there is no objection to this ruling from Rav Nachman.
Machave Rav Chista, Rav Chista motion to indicate Kagon Anava Rav Sheshet. Uh, this is for someone like myself and Rav Sheshet. Machave Rav Sheshet, Rav Sheshet motion to say Kagon Anava Rav Chista. This is for someone like myself and Rav Chista. Ama Rav Yochanan, Rav Yochanan said, Katan Poreach Mezamnin Alal. We may join in Zimon on account of a minor who is sprouted. Uh, who is sprouted? The sprouted is a reference to pubic hairs. Um, this would be before his thirteenth, uh, the boy's thirteenth birthday. Tanya Namihachi was taught similarly in a brisa. Katan shehevi shtei saarot, a man who grew two hairs, mizani nala. We may join in zimun on account of him. The shelo hevi shtei saarot. But one who did not grow two hairs, in mezamni nalav, we may not join in zimun on account of him. The ein mezakte kin bekatan, and we are not discriminating with a minor. Um, so the meaning of that is that therefore we we don't exclude uh, we don't exclude any minor from joining in the zimun. Haguf Akashya, this is inherently contradictory. Amak, you said, Hevi Shri Sarot Ain, he grew two hairs, indeed he joins. Lo Hevi Lo, he did not grow, he does not join. Badal Tane. But then the Brasa teaches, Ain Dr. Kim Bakatam, we are not discriminating with the minor. La Tuye Mai, what does this include? Um, so, what class of minors does this include? Love. Uh, we'll just go to the next page uh, love uh, don't, can't we presume la atuye katamporeach can't we presume to include a minor who has sprouted